Ever since I was a little girl, I enjoyed swimming in the ocean, but I never realized how this amazing part of the earth holds secrets in the shifting of the continents. It all comes to the spreading of the seafloor. The question we'll be discussing today is, what is seafloor spreading and how does it affect the continents? This topic is interesting to me because it allows us to understand how Earth's continents are moving over time and the reason that's causing them to move. So, let's get started with the great Alfred Wegener. In the early 1900s, Alfred Wegener came up with the theory of continental drift. That is, the idea that continents have been shifting positions on Earth's surface over time. He saw that the continents seemed to fit together like a puzzle and were once joined into a single landmass that was called Pangaea. His theory also explained why the same animal and plant fossils are found on different continents. However, with no proof to explain how the continents moved apart, his theory was firmly rejected. But later, in the 1960s, a geologist and Navy submarine commander, Harry Hess, proved Wagner's idea right. Part of his mission was to study the deepest parts of the ocean floor. In 1946, he discovered that hundreds of flat-topped mountains, or perhaps sunken islands, shaped the Pacific floor. Later, in 1960, after much thought, he concluded that the movement of the continents was a result of seafloor spreading. Seafloor spreading is the process in which new ocean floor is created as older material sinks. So, what causes seafloor spreading? Well, in the ocean floor, large underwater mountain chains called mid-ocean ridges are what is causing the seafloor to spread. As tectonic plates move away from each other, magma rises up from the asthenosphere and eventually cracks up the lithosphere, creating a ridge. The magma then cools and new crust is formed on both sides of the ridge, pushing the seafloor apart. As new oceanic crust is formed, old oceanic crust is pushed down into a trench and melts into magma. Harry has, after all, clarified the mechanism that broke the once joint continents into seven. The continents are attached to the plates and do not move independently, but the plates themselves shift and change shape, carrying the continents along. So what's going to happen on Earth a million years from now? The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, spreading at an average rate of about 2.5 centimeters per year, is a divergent boundary between the North American and Eurasian plates in the North Atlantic and South American and African plates in the South Atlantic, causing the Atlantic Ocean to expand due to seafloor spreading. Since the Atlantic is growing and gaining area, another ocean must be losing area. Therefore, the Pacific will keep shrinking due to subduction zones, that is, when dense oceanic crust sinks below another crust and therefore destroying seafloor. After all, seafloor spreading, or the process in which new oceanic crust is being created, plays an important role in the shifting of the continents. Thinking about it, seafloor spreading is really affecting our lives. Without it, all the continents will still be connected and there will not be individual continents separated by oceans. But surprisingly, seafloor spreading has been causing continents to move apart over time, meaning that one day the continents will crash into each other again, changing our lives dramatically.